WFSB Channel 3. Now, Eyewitness News Nightly. Police in Hamden tonight searching for the killer of two businessmen at their office this morning. 31-year-old Dennis Hodge of New Haven is considered armed and dangerous. He's also believed to be close by. Good evening. Hodge was a client of the two insurance adjusters he allegedly killed at a family business that's well established and respected in town. Channel 3's Jim Handley with a nightly report on the search for a killer and community reaction. Nobody is at home, please. It's the house he shared with his mother on Columbus Avenue in New Haven. She became a client of the victims after a kitchen fire in January. It's believed an argument over an insurance claim of just $3,000 led Dennis Hodge here to the insurance adjuster's office armed with a 9mm semi-automatic. There were the two victims and at least six or seven other people, employees of the company, in excess of 10 shots were fired at the two people. He had an appointment, but the gunfire came without warning. Adjusters Larry Biller and Bruce Horowitz shot at least five times apiece as five employees looked on, some hiding under desks. Tonight, police in Connecticut, New Jersey, and South Carolina on the lookout for Hodge, who has no previous record. One lead came from a Channel 3 viewer this evening who recognized Hodge's photo as the man she saw hitchhiking here on I-91 southbound near Wallingford. It's one of among 15 leads police have investigated today. I personally think he's still in the New Haven area, yes. What makes you think that? Uh, just by the time frame. It, it happened so quick, I don't think he had enough time to leave the area. I think he's probably holed up somewhere in the New Haven area. He's also still believed armed and dangerous. He calmly walked through the hall of the building before running from the shopping plaza. Friends of the victims arrived shocked through the day. I go back 20 years with Larry. Um, he has always been a Hamden resident. He's always been a uh, very loyal uh, person. Um, whatever group or organization he got into, he was very loyal to it. He gave 120 percent. I just uh, have to say that uh, he was the best of all men as far as I was concerned. And I just shocked, shocked that what's happened. The Biller family business has been a fixture in Hamden for decades. Tonight, Hodge's family and police are asking him to turn himself in immediately. Jim Alley, Channel 3 Eyewitness News on the Night Beat. A protest over the Rodney King verdict erupts into a window-smashing looting spree in downtown Toronto tonight. Police report a number of injuries and arrests. Well, for the first time in nearly a week, residents of Los Angeles are able to move freely tonight. Mayor Tom Bradley lifted a dust-to-dawn curfew as the city struggles to rebuild after the nation's deadliest riots of the century. We hope that the people uh, will also feel that surge of of uh, encouragement that they know that uh, we're on the, on the streets of this city to preserve peace and security for them. More than 7,100 heavily armed troops remain on alert tonight, maintaining a fragile peace. Some commuters returned to work today as shops, businesses, and schools reopened. And we got scared and thought that, that they was going to burn up the house. Residents of riot-ravaged neighborhoods lined up at food distribution centers for bags of donated groceries. No place to shop, no place to get nothing. The death toll today climbed to 55. The riots, which began Wednesday night after the acquittal of four white police officers and the beating of black motorist Rodney King, also left more than 2,300 people injured. Today, the Reverend Jesse Jackson and talk show host Arsenio Hall made the rounds at Daniel Freeman Memorial Hospital. A lot of these fires to burn away our fears and burn away the walls that divide. Oprah Winfrey brought her talk show to Los Angeles today. The program, to be seen tomorrow at 4 o'clock right here on Channel 3, offered a forum to vent anger and begin the healing.